Hi all, uh, it's Mr Renshaw here from Orchard Mead Academy. Uh, just wanted to create a couple of videos to share with you what our plans are um, in preparation for school opening. So in line with government guidance, it seems that the balance of risk in terms of opening school versus the threat of coronavirus now tips in favour of school opening. So we've been using the guidance issued by the government to make sure that our school is safe and ready to receive students again. And so I just wanted to outline a couple of things that we've been doing in order to make that happen. So the most important thing is that we minimise uh, contact with anybody who's unwell or showing signs of coronavirus. So um, we'll be asking anybody who has the symptoms of coronavirus to be staying away from school or indeed anybody who's sharing a house with anybody ex expressing those symptoms. They also would need to be self-isolating and not coming into school. So in order to make the school uh, COVID secure, some of the most important people in the building will be our cleaners. We've upped the number of cleaning staff, the number of uh, rounds that they do, uh, the uh, detergents they use are of high quality and all of the highly touched surfaces will be regularly cleaned in order to uh, limit and control the spread of the disease. We'll also be encouraging staff and students to take part in regular hand washing and we'll be following the uh, protocols around good respiratory hygiene in terms of the catch it, bin it, kill it protocol. To further prevent transmission of the virus, we've needed to ensure a degree of social distancing takes place within the school. So year groups have been placed into year group bubbles. Uh, students and the layout of the classrooms have been designed in such a way so students are at one metre intervals from each other. And for teachers who will be rotating around classrooms, they will need to stay at two metre distance from students at all times. We've put in specific protocols uh, to support students who may have learning difficulties or have uh, teaching assistance attached to them, but essentially the need for social distancing will still remain within the school building. So thanks for listening. I hope this video has outlined and made clear to you how our systems of control are going to make the school safe for the return of students. But uh, if you have any specific questions around those themes and those areas, do not hesitate to get in contact with the school. We'll be happy to talk you through all of the planning that we're doing to make school safe again.